What's good, YouTube? It's Sos. Morning, thing. You already know the vibes. You feel me? We back with another reaction. Now, my son Hassan is on another platform doing an interview with Lord Jamar. You know what I'm saying? They live right now. Um, we're gonna we're gonna watch that for a little bit before I press play on this video. Though, subscribe to my channel. You heard? Put your chest in it. You know what I'm saying? Smash that like button. Turn on your post notifications, which is the bell, so y'all can get notified every time I drop a video. So, yeah, they just chopping it up a little bit about Africa, Bambada, um, B Stinger, and um, a whole bunch of other things. You know what I'm saying? So, we're going to get right into this video. To brace myself just for my girlfriend to fucking touch me, man. Nobody knows what I went through. Everybody want to protect Bam. That's about money. My shit ain't about no money. You know what I'm saying? It has nothing to do with that. No, 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 no. My, the only friend I have is the nigga said to him, "You rather destroy oh, a oh, brand." Man. He didn't sit up there and say, "Yo, I'm sorry he did that." Yo, no remorse. He had no remorse for what he just heard. Anybody else that's listening to this shit, everybody else that heard this years ago started crying. Well, see, niggas cried when they heard this. Mickey Benson had no remorse. Man, well, all I hear was the brand. I should have heard. Right. What I should have heard in this fucking conversation was. Nigga, ain't nobody fuck you. What are you talking about? Nobody's. That's not what was said. He's like, man, whatever happened fucking was consensual. Basically, that's what the fuck he said. That's what I just heard. And unless this is some AI shit and all of that, that does sound like Mickey Benson to me. I know what mixed voice sounds like. Um, Just saying AI, right? Like this is. No. This was before AI ever was even invented. This this audio is seven eight years ago. This is this is this is this is one of the conversations. This is not even a conversation where they offering this nigga money. Listen, and I want to say, you know, when I talked about having you on, I didn't even know about this this audio that you have right here. So it's not like I brought you on to play this fucking audio, like. This is this is a fucking shocker for me, just like everybody else. Hang on real quick. If you're joining us just now, man, um, we in the house with my man, Hassan Campbell. Um, we talking about Africa Bambada. We talking about Bee Stinger. We talking about Mickey Benson. We talking about a lot of shit right now. Um, make sure you like uh, this here uh, live. Make sure you share it. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you do so. Uh, and click the notification bell and click all. I think we're like what a hundred away or something from, or maybe a th I think like a hundred away from one seventy, some shit like that. I don't know. We're about to be there. Um. Yeah. Let's um. Let's maybe switch gears and come back for a second. Um. Yeah, you got to bring the temperature down, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, it <laughs> still might get heated though. Well, depending. Um. Now you, sir, are you half black? Now in this reaction, I'm not going to talk as much because I want to hear the questions or, you know, the topics that he have, you know what I'm saying, for Hassan, you feel me? Like, um, I wanted to do the same type of vibe too with Hassan because y'all know I do a lot of videos on him and he actually said it was cool, whatever. We just never really got around to it, but. I think I think this is motivation right here. This is you know, this makes me want to just like, you know, give it a shot. You feel me? Like, so hopefully he's still down to do it. I can have Puerto Rican. I'm all black, mother and father. Okay. So I saw an interview where you was with uh my Asian man Tiger, right? Tiger. Yeah. And I've done I've I've been on Tiger's show as well. And he asked you about the Puerto Rican shit. About you know, Lord Jamal said, uh, you know, they wasn't uh, creators in the beginning, and you said to him, no, that's not true, and you did say, and I was a little disappointed. You said, ask Bam or some shit like that. Well, see, and I was for me, choose why why you would even use Bam as a reference, like because because whether I like it or not, I can't erase history, right? And, and exactly, and that's why we got to tell the truth about who were the creators. Not the participators. See, I think people are getting confused about who was there and who was influencing what. You understand what I'm saying? Hip hop comes from Black American youth culture. There's no other cultures that are influencing hip hop. There's no Spanish flavor 
inside hip hop. There's no Jamaican flavor inside hip hop. With now these some of these people were there, but they were adapting to Black American culture. So I think sometimes people don't explain the um, the situation correctly and be like, Lord Jamar said they wasn't there. No, that's not what I said. Well, isn't um cool hurt in Africa being by the West Indian? Right, but what did they do that was West Indian? See, they were influenced by people like DJ King Mario. They weren't doing some Jamaican shit and bringing it here and saying, hey, Americans, check out this new thing that we have. That's not what was going down. And just because their lineage was that doesn't mean the influence that we're dealing with comes from that. Do you understand? So it doesn't right. matter what the fuck their lineage was. Most of these people were here trying to be American. If you were, if your parents was Puerto Rican and they spoke Spanish, they hoped to God that, they, that their children would learn English because that was make their life better here in America. That's why they left where they was in the first fucking place to come here to have a better life. And the only way you can do that is to be American, not to hold on to your Spanish shit. So these Puerto Ricans that, and the, and the early ones that fucked with hip hop were the early adapters, the ones that were forced to be with us, the ones that were in the projects, basically, because the Puerto Rican neighborhoods didn't really fuck with hip hop like that. It was the Puerto Ricans that lived with black people that were fucking with it, first of all. Um, right. And these people, especially at that time, had Afros. There are a lot of big, darker Puerto Ricans. You couldn't even tell that some of these motherfuckers were Puerto Rican until you went to their crib. So all I'm saying is, yes, Puerto Ricans were there in the beginning. They were the first ones to participate in the art form. But make no mistake about it, this is just a continuation of many art forms that foundational Black Americans have created, such as jazz, uh, gospel, soul, funk, R and B. I ain't gonna um, hold you with the juicy rock. stuff. Nah, like, I ain't this gonna is lie. one of the many things. I want to hear we... Bam name. <laughs> Imagine if they played this nigga nasty voice on the ten o'clock news. The Zulu Nation is disrespecting me. I'm Zulu. I'm Zulu for life, and I. I'll straighten that out. This, this don't have nothing to do with y'all. This is what happened to me. What Bam did to me, I have to get it out. And I want people to respect that, man. Like, yo, come on, man. Like, yo, I've been living with this shit. And I've been telling people, people know over the years, and people been told me I should have said something. But no, me, I'm protecting everyone. See, now, when y'all come out like that, that that right there just makes me say, fuck it. I'm gonna say, say fuck it, then fuck it. I ain't got no more to say to you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Fuck fuck it. It, don't have nothing, it don't have nothing to do with that. Well, say fuck it, bro. I'm, I'm gonna accept that, man. Ain't no, you just disrespected all of us, bro. And you talking about, you feel disrespected? And you disrespect the whole brand that we got? I didn't do that. I didn't disrespect y'all. You know what I'm saying? No, and I'm, and and I'm, and I'm, gonna, I'm gonna let it, I'm, I'm gonna let it be known that the Zulu Nation don't have nothing to, to, to do with this. You know what I'm saying? The guy is putting up our logo, universal. Let me pause it for there right there, right? Let you Mickey said, the nigga Mickey said, you got your book. You wanted people to see that book. B Stinger re edited that book and put Africa Bear by the name in that book after all of this happened. So Mickey. I lost your audio's gone. There you go. Okay, there you go. Because somebody tried to call my device. Okay. Um, so here's what really jumps out to me, right? If we're talking about rape, molestation and all of that, what's really kind of getting under my skin, you know, as I hear Mickey talk, is this shit about a brand. Like, he's more worried about a brand than a human being's life. Like, at the end of the day, who gives a fuck about a brand? We're talking about a man's fucking soul. Like this man felt like he couldn't bear this shit that happened to him. And 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 yeah, sometimes there's delayed shit. Why didn't he talk about it then and all of that? But to, to nah, Hassan cup though it, it has nothing to do with it. But his cup, his his choice of cup that he chooses to drink out of is just funny to me right now. It's like a pineapple or some shit. He just different, bro. To this keep talking about bro. this brand <laughs> shit, that's what really gets under my skin. You know why? Because we live in a society where money is more important than human lives. This is why you're able to sell fucking poison food to the people. And it's okay. Like, you know, you could fucking do all kinds of fuckery to the people. And as long as you're making money from it, it's cool. 
and I that's the devil's mentality. And when you move like that, you're moving like a devil, and I don't give a fuck. What right, you oh, let's go back a little bit physically. more. But yeah, I mean, yeah, but then I can understand almost being hold on, hold, that, hold that door for a second, right? In the listen, 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 listen to the grooming. You gotta listen, first of all, you gotta keep in mind, right? Mickey Pinson is who? Ice T X manager, Fat Joe X manager. You had powerhouses throughout Bronx River. The whole community, except for a chosen few parents, kept their children away. If the whole community was down letting this nigga do that, how the hell could everybody be mad at the 12-year-old boy? Mm. The nigga caught 85, 90% of the kids in the community and all over the world. Got locked up in Brazil. But the crazy part about it is, and this is where me, I can see myself partnering with this story and partnering with black people. I don't even want to be black no more. I don't respect black people because they expected a 12-year-old boy to be a hero. And the one to take that, and even still throughout, throughout all the broken, brokenness I've shown on the internet, you expect me to be the tough guy and tell me to deal with it. So cool. That, let's keep that same energy. When the police shoot a black man down in the street, deal with it, my nigga. I don't want to. I'm not sharing that shit on the, the internet no more. It's not my problem no more. Hmm. I was the spokesman instead of for black people with black problems for nine years on this internet. I don't want to do it no more. I don't give it. It's like I got now. I got. I don't give a fuck attitude. Let's all share that attitude because the reality of it is, I made something out of myself. I don't have to fight these things. fight no more. He threw in the towel. I came out the whole list, nigga, down. And he betrayed me. He betrayed himself. He betrayed all the victims. So if the weapon is going to now, the weapon is going to be used against me. Well, why you did this? Why you did that? Nobody's questioning Africa Van Vada about why he felt so comfortable sitting up there putting little boys peckerwoods in his mouth. No, never. Not one, one, not one time did any platform tell that that nasty bastard. We deserve answers. But everybody wants answers. I'm supposed to answer for my 12 year old frame of mind when I'm grown. And then. Oh, you took pictures with him. I gave y'all pictures to show that I know I knew him. He told y'all that I didn't know him. And instead of y'all calling him a liar, because he said he didn't know none of the people right, who accused him. No, I'm going to pause it. That's the thing right there that throws everybody off. And I feel like that's the main reason why nobody respects his story. You feel me? Because he, he he's a victim, right, of Af Africa Bambada. You know what I'm saying? That's what he's saying. You feel me? And... Late years later on, it happened when he was young. But years later on, you taking pictures with him with a like as a grown man, you feel me? So that's why a lot of people just like, oh nah, like you know, just like kind of water down his his story, which is everybody. You should it, it's not right to, I you know what I mean? Like I don't I don't think this just because he took a picture with his um abuser later on. You feel me? What is that called? Uh, um, stock Stockholm syndrome or something like that. Yeah, Stockholm syndrome. You feel me? So, like, you never know. Like, clearly, his mental is not. You feel me? In the right state of mind all the way. You know what I'm saying? He's still healing as a grown man. Hassan probably went in his late forties, fifty, early. I don't know. I could be wrong. Don't don't get tight at me, cause <laughs> you feel me. But he's an older dude, so he's still healing. Like, you know what I mean? And then he, you know. He he just up his upbringing wasn't in the best environment, so yeah, I mean, but yeah, him taking a picture with a grown as a with African Babata as a grown man, that's what just raised eyebrows. You feel me? But so, then when I show the pictures, well, why did you take pictures with him? No, the question is why the fat nasty bastard lied. Why do y'all constantly keep playing this courtroom game where y'all not gonna let him take the stand, but y'all gonna antagonize the victims? Fuck that, eat a dick. That's how I feel. So I, I I knew, rest in peace, I knew B.O., okay? Um, my man Trev, actually, rest in peace. Rest in peace. So another, I, another monster. Both of those this? two niggas together died back to back you while I was in saying? jail. You I was in jail saying? for that. So you know what time it is. See, when we talk about, uh, then I get my gear and we give Trev a call because he work in the barbershop, right? That's the Trev we talk about. Yes, we talk. And like it's little details, like even his his choice of cup he chooses to drink out of is a pineapple. You feel me? Like it just stuff like that, little things usually like make uh it kind of like makes people uh feel good, you know what I'm saying? When they we know yeah, I know it's something simple and small, but like for real, like 
like people that go to Target and they just want to go there and you know they're having a bad day and they just want to feel better. They buy little cups and you know what I'm saying. And then it, you gotta think about the choice of of things that they got. They they get a pineapple. Pineapple is given. It's given. I want to be. I want to be free a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like I want to be. I want to be uh, stress free. Like. You feel me? It's just a little thing. I should be like a therapist. Yo, yo, let me know in the comment section. Anybody need any therapy sessions or anything? You feel me? Drop the cash up. You know what I'm saying? Well, like, about that, Trev. And Trev was my man. You know what I mean? Eating wall and all that type of shit. Like, listen. <laughs> Trev was my man. So, and like you said, B.O. and Trev was on some monster shit, right? So, yeah, they called them it. niggas united. When them niggas started, when they united, it was a different ball game. Yeah, be on with Trev. Different ball game. So they call you baby Bo, right? There's people that will that are in here. I'm looking at the chat, and people is saying hip hop family that wouldn't have been sending the army at me. Never mind the Zulu Nation. You probably would have been coming at me like this nigga killed Ben. Ain't nobody. MC Light would have been coming at me. Queen Latifah would have been coming at me. Everybody would have been coming. And as a disclaimer, we're not we're not uh saying that you know, Bam should be killed or anything. We're not advocating that. This is just some shit that I actually seen in the chat uh, as a question. Um, right. So I asked it. Um. Yeah. So, yeah. Just recently, I saw this video with 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 um with Beastinger, Ronald Savage. You know, talking about he saw Bam somewhere, and you know ways and they embraced and you know it's on the park it was cathartic for him basically he was trying to say um i don't know to me like you said he threw in the towel it was it was it was very disappointing um it was like what you know what you do all of this for it's almost like you 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 missed him or some shit like that the way he was describing it was almost like i missed this guy you oh know? no 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 uh -oh. let, let can you allow this motherfucking cracker to call out Africa Bear by his name? And you, the universal nation? Mm -hmm. That's fucked up, B. Yeah, I, don't know, child yeah. Right now. I don't know why he's talking about the Zulu nation. And, you know, I, I need, I, that, that I need to straighten out because that's my friend, you know? I mean, my thing is, yo, I've been, I mean, you know how long I've been holding this shit in. I just could not take it anymore, man. I have. Oh, you keep telling me that every time you spoke to me, you told me you were leaving and you spoke to uh, Let me stop right there. Okay. So he's been telling these niggas on bed before he came out. I can't take this no more. Mickey Benson just admitted to that. Okay, but you telling me now he about to go, you talk to your counselors and all of that. These things have been telling these niggas what Bam did to him. And they overlooked the shit. They didn't do nothing. So now, let me let him finish talk. Listen to this, because what changed his mind? This is the real beast thing right here. Thank you, Stacy. She said these things said they tried to mouth the next time. And you talked to me. You told me. Hold on, I got a letter card. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I think we heard this part around. These things was like Kaiser Storch. They playing these niggas, putting the phone down, acting like he had another call coming back while he's still recording. Playing them. Playing them, but nevertheless, when you listen to this audio, he's sitting up there saying, I told y'all. Hello? Yeah, I'm here, man. Yeah, that's bad, dog. It's bad, dog. It's, we don't, it's just like being around someone that you have sex with, and then they complain to you. You don't know what that person is like to do with that boy. How many people we have okay, some things that he had? How many motherfuckers that he say was standing there? How many people you say was sitting here? That's not cool, B. I don't give a fuck, man. I'm 57 years old, man. Sam is 60 years old, man. Y'all are tearing us apart with the bullshit, man. If this was something that was on your mind, this should have been out three years ago, 25 years ago. You destroy a brand. You don't destroy a brand, dog. You are trying to destroy a brand. And do you think, the right mind, that everyone is going to call these things and say, no, man, you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't do this. It ain't good, B. Indirect it ain't good, bro. It ain't good. It ain't good, man. That's all I'm gonna say, bro. And it ain't cool. You went to a motherfucker who tried to destroy the book at every interview this nigga star ever did. He always tried to deface the Zulu Nation and doing it through Africa Bear Body. Did he ever fuck Bam? Did Bam ever fuck him? Did he ever suck Bam's dick? Did Bam ever suck his dick? 
he's hearing me say, and it ain't cool, baby. It just ain't cool. And you gave this man a platform. For what reason? It had to be about money, bro. So what about exposing my, uh, my, my heart? Now, that's my book sitting there. My book is sitting there. No, I have a book sitting there. Evidently, I want motherfuckers to see that book in that cover. Man, um, see, now you're disrespecting me. This shit ain't about no fucking money. I don't give a fuck about that. You know what I'm okay, saying? So Everyone, see now, when y'all come that out like that, that, that right there just makes me say, fuck it. I'm not saying fuck it, then fuck it. I ain't got no more to say to you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Fuck it, that, it, don't have nothing, it don't have nothing to do with that. Well, say fuck it, bro. I'm, I'm going to accept that, man. Ain't no, you just disrespected all of us, bro. And you talking about, you feel disrespected? And you disrespect the whole brand that we got? I didn't do that. I didn't disrespect y'all. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna let it. I'm, a, I'm gonna let it be known that the Zulu Nation don't have nothing to, to, to do with this. Ah, uh, yeah, we we heard that part. Um, I ain't gonna lie. Yo, they got a lot going on, bro. I'm fake catching up. You know what I'm saying? But they said that 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 recording was from years ago. So that's an old recording, but I'm guessing this is all all right. They have like a, a I think like a, a event at Katona Park. I believe it was at Katona Park. I actually was gonna go there. You know, my mom wanted to go there. There's a whole bunch of older, you know, like the old timers and stuff like that. Yeah, so you know, I was definitely was gonna go and bring my moms and all that, but I ended up being like not not going and whatever and she you know, she actually snuck out the house and went, uh, you know, later on. <laughs> but um, I should have went. I probably would have got a little footage, you know what I'm saying, if if Africa Ben Bada was there and all that. That's crazy. But um, yo, y'all let me know how y'all feel in the comments about this this video, you know. We're going we gonna to be tapping into his, um, his what is it, Lord Jamar platform. Um, this is my first time actually watching anything, so I, so I was really – focused and zoomed in and you know it wasn't too much too much um you know comments going on from me whatever but i appreciate y'all watching this video before y'all head out though subscribe to my channel you heard put your chest in it you know what i'm saying smash that like button turn on your post notifications and i'll see y'all in the comment section let's get it